Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Adventures with me, Johnson Wolf 38 Um, yeah, so last time we went on a journey to look for slimes and, well, we were unsuccessful. Um, this time, however, we are not going to be going back down there looking for slimes just yet. Um, I think I'm going to do something I said I was going to do it a long time ago. But before we do that, I just wanted to say... Uh, I've made a couple changes uh, to my house, which you will now notice. Right, the entryway used to come in like so, and this was out there where I had a little corral thing and all that. I decided to expand it and make this one big open living area. I put my bed there, uh, so the sun will rise, you know, right there, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just opened it up, and it feels a lot more open and stuff, so yeah, I like it. Um... What else? Oh yeah, the texture pack. Um, I like it um, a lot, but there's a couple things I don't like about it. So I'm probably going to do something I've been thinking about doing for a while and doing my own custom mix of a texture pack. And um, yeah, uh, but anyway, as for this uh, this texture pack, it's called the well, it's actually a mixture of a couple others uh, put together by a guy named Tyken. Uh, he does uh, a really cool Minecraft let's play himself. Um, so yeah, this is the Tyken mix, and I will link you to where you can get that and to his channel too. Um, right. My tools are shot. <laughs> you may notice I no longer have a diamond pick and shovel present. Well, that's because I used them up. I've been working on some stuff, and uh, yeah. Pretty much gone. Um, <laughs> anyway, hopefully the frame rate still looks pretty good to you guys. Um, what am I getting here? I'm getting 17 now. That's actually really, really good. Um, that'll probably diminish <laughs> the further I get from here. But anyway, um, so since we're going somewhere, uh, <laughs> try not to spoil this place. Um, I don't want to take too much with me. Uh, I have a diamond sword here, which I am not going to take. Uh, let me just quickly make some iron tools. Look how much iron I have. Look. Just look at it. It's it's insanity. It's pure <laughs> insanity. Uh, um, yeah, let me just make some. Be right back. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Really quickly. Let me... If I can do something here, I want to make a bowl, a few bowls, and let's see, where did I put, yes, alright, so I have four, might as well get these, these, got a lot of wheat, sugar cane, as you can see, I think that's pretty cool. Away. Uh, <laughs> right. So I'm gonna do that. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. Mushroom stew. Which you cannot stack. That's the way it goes with food, unfortunately. Um, right. I'll put this back. And just keep stew. Want to do this for a while? Stew actually heals. More hearts than uh, pork and fish, cooked pork and fish, too. Uh, okay, so is there anything else? Oh, why am I carrying this stuff? Um, sand and glass that I don't need to carry with me. Uh, steps I don't need. <laughs> I'll take some stone and I'll take. Maybe a bit of gravel. Gravel does come in handy once in a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's everything I want to take. Okay, so, <laughs> not wasting time. Um, there's one thing I want to show you down here as well. Oh, wasting daylight already. One thing I want to show you down here. I said, hope the frame rate is all right. I noticed in the playback of the last two videos, it was pretty good, but it looked jerky still, but that is just 
um, because I'm using a touchpad instead of a mouse, so the movements seem jerky, which, I mean, they are jerky, which makes it seem laggy, but anyway, um, yeah, okay, here, I had that little uh, thing I dug up to escape from there one time when I got lost, I decided to go ahead and open that up, and it makes it easier to get here, so what I do is, if I come through here, and uh, I made this stairway, and this stairway goes all the way down to where there is obsidian, redstone, and stuff like that. And of course, a place I can keep an eye out for slimes. Uh, so that's pretty handy when I need that stuff. And then I made this little room, which is just right under that pool of water that was there. I surrounded it in cobblestone so it would seem like a, uh, a pool. When you look down through here, you see there's cobblestone and then there's glass and you can see the torch. So I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I do have an idea that I want to try with that, but I can't do that right now. Um, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Fixed my fire pit because logs, they no longer burn forever. They just burn away. As you can see, no floating, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> floating logs that are burning. And of course my, uh, incinerator quit working too so I replaced it with lava and I cannot fall in but I can chuck stuff in there so I think that's pretty neat um right spider proof house spawn house um I guess that's uh, yeah but see now I've lost so much daylight all right be right back that is a really cool song <laughs> just saying And a pretty cool mode. Should be a little bigger. But yeah, I am going to be doing my own custom ones. Anyway, is it dark enough? Yes. Yes, the cactus have made a return. As you might notice. <laughs> um, basically, the update killed, at least temporarily, the Mo Creatures mod. Actually, all the mods. Um, I know some of them are probably alright again already, but I just decided to not worry about it for now. Um, so I just put the cactus back. Oh yeah, this, this was weird. I heard a sound, <laughs> and I hit the sand right here with my shovel, and everything fell down. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy. It just all fell down. And it looks all dark and spooky, but there's nothing down there. It's just a dead end. So, yeah. I don't know. You might be able to dig a little bit there and, and find something, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, right. I am heading for that far off location that I mentioned quite a long time ago and we shall see what we shall see um... which way do I want to go? so we can go this way here is a spider dungeon and the next pillar indicates that other zombie dungeon there's just too many dungeons honestly and the only one I really wanted Skeleton dungeon is way off over there. And thanks to the fact that I don't have my Zans minimap anymore, it's no longer marked with a waypoint to make it easy to find. Uh, but I can always, I suppose, um, use cartographer to, or cartograph, whatever it is, to find it again easily enough, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, right, there's the zombie dungeon. Alright, I think I'm heading the right way. <laughs> I know I definitely went the wrong way the last time. I'm going to be uh, on the lookout for a pillar with torches on it off over here somewhere that indicates where I need to be heading. Uh, pretty sure I'm going the right way this time. don't think I'll actually need a Boat. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is the pillar. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use a boat just to get across this gap. <laughs> but yeah, last time I went completely the wrong way. I did find something cool that way, though, when I went back to look again. Uh, there is an above ground lava pool that way, so that's kind of neat. Um, but yeah. 
yep, here is the pillar indicating what I found so very long ago that there was a cave over here that I wanted to, <laughs> that I wanted to explore with you guys. So, stuck a few torches around and look, a mushroom. I'll leave that for now. Um, right, so this could be dangerous. way to go. Yes, I know. It's a dark, creepy cave. I get it. Anyway, which way to go? Which way to go? 